Welcome, my name is Debbie and welcome to the virtual YMCA. This class will be gentle chair yoga. So I invite you to grab a chair, a heavy chair where you're, you will feel stable and secure and also grab a bottle of water or a cup of water just so if you need a few sips throughout our practice today. So we'll begin seated and I want to remind you to listen to your body. So many of you know I have triplets. They're in eighth grade already. So I say things in threes. The first one is to breathe. That's the most important. If you have a challenge and you just sit and breathe or stand and breathe, you're doing great. Second is to challenge yourself to your level. Not to get hurt, not to feel pain, but to challenge whatever, at whatever place you're at today. Each day is different, each practice is different. And the third thing is to have fun. So if we do all those things, we'll be good. Alrighty, so starting by a gentle bend in your knees, look over your knees, make sure you can see your toes for a strong and safe foundation. Using your chair back if you need it, but if you don't, we'll start with seated Tadasana. Strong and stable like a mountain, but not forceful. So we close our eyes, we let our shoulders drop away from our ears, we engage our shoulder blades toward each other just a little to begin this process of opening the body. We drop our chin to lengthen the back of our neck, and we grow the crown of our head toward the sky, reaching for the sunshine. Breathing in and out through your nose if you're not congested. So I think sometimes we go straight from winter to allergy season. So if you're congested today, please recognize that it may challenge your balance and also breathe any way that you can, even if it's in and out through your mouth. Let your rib cage and lungs expand. Take these first few breaths to get settled. Imagine that you're standing on a dock at the lake and you drop a pebble into the water and you watch it ripple outward. Let your rib cage and lungs do the same thing. Let it grow in all directions, but not shoulders to ears. So expanding wide, using your diaphragm. As we breathe in, our belly gently sticks out as the diaphragm draws down. As we exhale, we gently compress our belly toward our inner spine. The diaphragm moves up and helps expel the air out of our lungs. Inhaling and exhaling. So I'd like to do a gentle breathing exercise to remind us what stress does to our body and our breathing. So I'd like you to take a small breath in and then squeeze everything you can possibly squeeze. Squeeze it tight, your eyes, your cheeks, your buns. Squeeze, squeeze your fists. Maybe your feet rise up off of the floor just a teeny onto your toes. And try to breathe and see what happens. It gets stuck and now let go. Relax, inhale and exhale. And let's do that again. Take a small breath in so you have some air and then squeeze everything possible. Go up to your toes, go up to your heels, whatever you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs, your calves. Squeeze your elbows in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to breathe. Oh, nothing's happening. And then release everything. Take a deep breath. And we'll do it one more time. Take a small breath in. Squeeze everything you can. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze something you didn't squeeze the last time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Really tight. Close your eyes. Oh, the breath is stuck. And then release. Inhale and exhale. So with your hands resting on your thighs, open your eyes. 
I'd like to start and end our practice today with some positive affirmations. We all need some encouragement right now. So, as you breathe in, I'd like you to say to yourself, I am. As you exhale, confident. Inhale, breathe in. I am. Exhale, compassionate. And you can close your eyes for these five breathwork pieces. Inhale, I am. Exhale, strong. Inhale, I am. Exhale, calm. Inhale, I am. Exhale, beautiful inside and out. When you're ready, open your eyes. Let your hands dangle to the side. Do some gentle warming up, rotating the shoulders. Remember, I want you to listen to your body today and do what's right for you. There are always options. As you inhale, imagine your arms are like butterfly wings. It's spring. Inhale, open your wings just a little and then let them float down, closing again. Inhale, open your wings a little more. A beautiful butterfly beautiful and colorful and inhale and exhale inhale a little bigger open your wings and exhale and two more inhale as you sweep your wings open showing their majestic colors and once more reaching for the top reaching for the sky, open your wings, and then release. Resting again, hands on your thighs. Go ahead and lift your heels off the ground, and lift your toes, lift your heels and toes. You may hear some crackling, crackling ankles. And now, circle your foot around, maybe keeping it on the floor, maybe raising one foot at a time if you'd like. Then placing your feet down, take a nice deep breath. So we're here at the YMCA, and you know the old YMCA song where you make the letters with your arms. Well, I'd like to introduce you to a new stretch to strengthen the muscles around the shoulder blades to help keep us open, open our posture, and keep us strong. So this is called YWLT, You Will Live Tall. So we essentially make those letters with our arms, and then we engage our shoulder blades to open the front of the body and strengthen the back of the body. So if you have trouble, you can also keep your hands low, but if you can, make a Y, with your arms like the YMCA. Inhale, reach your fingers out toward the sky, and then exhale, a small movement, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, inhale and exhale. It's a small but important movement. Exhale. And one more. Inhale, exhale. And now make the letter W with your arms. Again, a small movement. If you can, your hands are lined up with your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, draw your elbows down a little bit, and draw your hands back a little bit. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And one more. Inhale, and exhale. And now the letter L. Fingers point to the sky, do what you can. Your arms are kind of parallel, upper arm parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale. And two more. Inhale, exhale. And one more. 
inhale, exhale. And now the letter T, you will live tall. This is a very small movement. Inhale, reach your fingers out, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Reach and re-engage. And two more. Reach and re-engage. And one more. Reach and re-engage. Let your arms float down. Good, let them rest. Do a little movement, rotating. And now place your hands on your thighs. Close your eyes for a moment, take a couple deep breaths. I will mirror you, so I will call the opposite side of the body that I'll be doing so that we're all moving in the same direction. So place your right hand on your chair seat for stability and security. And we're gonna reach our left arm up and over. Ideally, your arm is near your ear, but if it needs to be down here towards your face, that's fine, or even in front of the body, that's fine too. We'll stay here for just a moment, reaching on the high diagonal, grounding the same hip of the arm that's in the air. Looking up if that's okay for your neck, straight ahead if you need to, or even gently down toward the floor. And now inhale as you reach just a tiny bit farther. Exhale as you circle. Inhaling again. And now exhale up and over the top as you open the side of the body. Inhale, circle. Exhale, up and over the top. Inhale, circle. Exhale, up and over the top. And one more. Circle. And exhale up and over the top. And then circle around. Pause. Let these fingers dangle toward the ground. Notice if you feel any difference just from this simple movement, this beginning opening movement. Maybe you feel like these left fingers are a little longer. They reach toward the floor a little farther. And then hanging on, inhale, sweep up and we'll pause here for a few breaths. So remember, each side of the body is different. Do what's right for you. Up, arm near your ear, a little bit out to the front if that's better for your shoulder, or even sweeping around the body. We're still opening this side, that's our goal. Inhale, exhale, reach a tiny farther. And now sweep around like a Ferris wheel, coming all the way around, inhale, Exhale, up and over the top. Inhale again. Exhale, up and over the top. Inhale. And exhale. And once more, inhale. And exhale. And now let this arm float down. Let fingers reach toward the floor. See if you feel a little more symmetrical. We'll do a seated, modified cow and cat. So come forward just a little bit on your chair. Remember, listen to your shoulders, listen to your body, and go at your own pace. If I go too fast, please slow down. If I go too slow and you wanna move a little faster, that's okay too. Sweep all the way up if you'd like, or just take a deep breath with your hands on your thighs. Exhale, soften behind you. You can hang on to your chair back with the railings or you can interlace your fingers together. Inhale to a seated cow. I like to lift the chest more than the chin. A lot of small structures back here. So you can even think of it as being a Y. Two collarbones on the diagonal plus your sternum make a Y. Lift your Y to the sky. Exhale to a seated cat. Tuck your pelvis. Tuck your chin, rest your hands here if you'd like. Hug a beach ball, pressing the back of your hands forward if you'd like. Sweep all the way up. Inhale, a big breath. Exhale, softly bring your hands behind you. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat, arms of your choice. Inhale, sweep. 
Exhale, soften. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Open the back of the body. And sweep. And soften. And cow. And cat. And let's do one more. Big breaths here. Your body knows the movements. Focus on your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. And then rise up nice and tall. We're going to sweep our right arm out halfway, and then we're going to bring it behind us. And you can hold the wrist with your opposite hand, or you can simply rest your hand on your back rib. So, we're going to inhale with a nice, tall, long neck. We're going to exhale and dip to the side wall. As you dip over, try to also lower this shoulder just a little bit. So we don't want to lean, we want to lengthen. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, dip just a little. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And then lift your head, release your hand, Maybe give it a gentle rotation, and we'll do the other side. Sweep your left arm up, bring it behind, maybe hold the wrist, maybe just rest it on your back rib cage. Inhale nice and tall, we'll dip our head to the side wall as we lower this left shoulder. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. And once more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And lift gently, release your hand, rotate softly, bring your hands back. So you have some muscles here in the diagonal back of your neck, the posterior neck, that get very tight. They're life muscles. So I'd like to take a moment and stretch those and open those a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to look halfway between your sternum and your shoulder. So we look halfway, and we're gonna inhale with a long spine. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest on the diagonal. Inhale, and now go halfway to the other side and exhale. Inhale, and rotate, and exhale. Inhale, rotate, and exhale. And once more to each side. Inhale, rotate, exhale. Inhale, rotate, and exhale. And lift. And now sitting tall, keep your eyes open. Let's create some energy. So this also opens the front of the body. It's a modified seated camel pose. So do what you can. We're gonna make a fist and bring it all the way around and you'll need a little space between your body and your chair. Inhale, make a fist. Bring it around. You're gonna press the back of your, your fist into your back hips a little bit. So it's kind of low, not into the low back, but into the actual hip bones. We're gonna inhale and soften the front of our body. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bring your elbows a little closer to each other. Press your fist into your hips. And again, lift your chest to the sky more than your neck. Lift your Y to the sky. Inhale, soften the front of the body. Exhale, lift. Press your fist into your hip bones. Gently activating. Inhale. And exhale. And two more. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. And then release softly. Bring your hands to your thighs. Take another deep breath and you're seated to dasana. So a lot about um, having a, a strong sense of balance is having a strong core. So I'm gonna do a very simple exercise, a breathing exercise that will engage our core. As a reminder, we're gonna bring soft 
fists to our belly. As we inhale, I call this stir the pot. We're gonna reach out and stir the pot, reaching gently, inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. As you come back, press your fists into your core and engage them. And inhale, reach and sweep out gently and then engage. Maybe tucking your pelvis a little bit, engaging your abdominals into your inner spine. Inhale, reach out and exhale. And once more and reach out and exhale. And now we'll go in the opposite direction. Inhale, reach out and then engage. Strong, engage your core. Good, you're doing a great job. Inhale, exhale, engage. And two more. And one more. Excellent. Now let's do a hip opener. So we'll bring our foot behind the other foot, or if it's comfortable for you, go ahead and bring it on top. Make sure that you look down and your foot is straight. It wants to turn out. Just naturally it wants to turn out. So make sure it's straight. Resting your hands on your shin. Take a nice deep breath, tall spine. Exhale, hinge from your hips, not bending, but hinge from your hips. Engage your shoulder blades a little bit. Let your gaze go down to the floor to keep your neck and spine neutral. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And lift, and lower. And once more. So now we'll do a spinal twist. Keep your legs exactly where they are. Do what's right for you, twisting only as far as comfortable and safe for you. We're gonna sweep our arms all the way up. We're gonna to twist toward our bent right leg. You can place a hand on your thigh or an open hand. You can place the other hand low on your chair rails so that you keep your shoulders low. Exhale as you gently twist. And I'll encourage you to close your eyes so that you're not twisting your neck, you're keeping your spine aligned. So inhale, exhale with your eyes closed and twist gently. Inhale and exhale. You can open your eyes when you inhale and close them when you exhale so you don't twist your neck too far. And once more. Release, and now bring this leg down and give it a gentle little shake. Bring it back, and then we'll bring the other foot either behind or on top. Remember, each side of the body is different, so listen to your body. Maybe you did one on top and one behind. And then we wanna check our foot again and make sure it's not turned out, which it wants to do. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, hinge forward stopping wherever you need to stop. So we're not curling and bending, we're engaging our shoulder blades, keeping our chest open and lifted, and letting our gaze go down to the floor to keep our neck and spine neutral. Inhale, lift gently. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, lift gently. Exhale, hinge forward. And once more. Inhale, exhale. And now if you want to add the twist to this side, we'll keep our legs right where they are. We'll sweep all the way up. We'll twist, hand open or closed, hand on your chair rail if you'd like. Shoulders come low, so we don't want to twist with our shoulders up toward our ears. Inhale, close your eyes as you exhale so you don't twist your neck too far. Inhale, release and soften. Maybe open your eyes if you'd like. Exhale, twist with your eyes closed. And two more. Inhale and exhale. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Once more. Inhale, exhale. And then release. Bring this leg down or out. And give it a 
give it a gentle little shake. Good. Okay, so I'd like to do some standing work with you today. If this standing work is not right for you or not safe for you, you can do everything the same way seated. So if you'd like, come to standing. And you can use your chair back. So we're gonna come behind our chairs and we're gonna have our hands on the chair back. So I'd like to do a little balance work with you today. And you can do whatever much, however much is right for you. So we'll begin by simply shifting our weight from foot to foot. So shift your weight and get really focused on one side of the body, the left side here. And we're gonna gently lift our right foot. And if that's okay for you and you feel stable, we're gonna shift again and lift the other foot. So we're shifting so that the leg that we're standing on is getting stronger. And shift. And shift. And now if you think you can do this without hanging on, or maybe one finger on your chair, we'll shift again and lift. Move slowly. Inhale and exhale. Once more each side. And then come to standing. Good. Let's do a standing Tadasana for just a moment. Roll your shoulders back. Open your palms. Close your eyes. Lengthen the back of your neck. And take a few breaths here. And then open your eyes. I'd like you to come to the side of your chair so that you always have a hand to hang on if you need it. So we're gonna do a few poses. We'll do a modified airplane and then perhaps add on a little bit more, maybe a modified warrior three. We'll see how you feel. So we'll begin by taking a small step forward with our right foot. And you wanna have your foot kind of near the back chair leg, if that makes sense for you. We're gonna bend our front knee. We're gonna to start to fold forward a little bit on the diagonal. And now we're gonna place our left foot, our toe on the ground, if that's comfortable for you. And you can stay right there and add your fingers behind you like an airplane. If you'd like though, you can fold forward a little bit more and lift the back foot off the ground and reach your fingers back towards your back foot. We're gonna stay here for another breath or two. And then drop your toe down to the floor and stand up. Good. Bring your foot back. Give your standing leg a little wiggle, little shimmy. I like to shimmy. We're gonna try that again and add a warrior three if you'd like. So, we bring our toe behind us. We start with a bent front knee and then we hinge forward gently. We reach our fingers behind. If you'd like, you lift the back leg. Fingers go back toward that foot. And then you can bring your left hand to prayer or you can reach it out for warrior three. If you reach it out, Think of the length between your fingers and your foot and make it as long as possible. Take one more breath here. Bring your hand down, bring your toe to the floor, and then stand tall. Good, shimmy. My favorite part. Let's try those on the other side and then we'll come back and maybe add a little more on. So, your foot is near your back chair leg. You're hanging on with the hand if you'd like. We bend our front knee a little. We bring our right foot behind us just a little. We begin to hinge forward. You can keep your toe on the ground. This is a balance challenge. Or you can lift your back leg and the fingers go back towards your foot. And that way we keep our shoulders away from our ears, from creeping up toward our ears. We're strengthening the standing leg. 
Take another breath or two here. And then bring your toe down and stand up. Good. And if you need to do a little wiggle, do a little wiggle. And let's try that again. So stand tall, soft bend in the left knee. Bring your foot behind. Begin to hinge forward as you gently straighten your leg a little bit. Reach your fingers behind. You're looking at the floor for focus. We lift the back leg if you like. And maybe a little higher if you like. And your right hand comes to prayer if you like. Or it reaches out for warrior three. And if you reach it out, reach really long from your fingers to your foot. Take another breath or two here. And then drop your hand, toe to the ground, and then come up. Good, and do a little wiggle, little shimmy. Good, so that can be a little challenging for the hips. So be mindful. And we'll try it once more on each side. So foot is by your chair, back chair leg, hanging on if you like, tipping forward, maybe lifting the foot. If you feel very stable and you wanna add your second hand, we can reach out with both hands behind us. So maybe you wanna drop your toe and just reach with both hands behind you, that's fine. Or you can lift the back foot and we can wibble wobble and that's okay. And maybe you hang on then and you create a warrior three. And we reach, reach, reach from our fingers to our toes. And then we drop our foot, and we stand up, and we shimmy. Beautiful, you're strong. You are strong and stable, and getting stronger every day. Okay, let's try the other side. So, foot is near your back chair leg. Soft bend in your knee, reach your toe behind. Maybe we keep the toe down, and we reach with both hands, and that's enough. Or, Maybe we reach with one hand and one foot. Or maybe we reach with both hands. Hang on if you need to. And then maybe we come to prayer, peace, or we reach out for warrior three. And if you reach, make it really long. Hang on for one more breath or two. Create some more space, some more length. And then toe down, arm comes down. Good. And then shimmy. Okay, come behind your chair again. And we're gonna do a modified downward dog. This is called L pose. So we're gonna keep our hands wide, about shoulder width, as you would in down dog. And we're gonna begin to walk our feet back behind us. And we're gonna let our head and neck naturally drop down toward our arms. And you're going to keep walking your feet back. Try not to pull on your chair. We want to stay really stable here. And then you want to keep reaching your hips beyond your heels. So we're creating length from our heels to our hips and our hips to our fingers. We're lengthening both sides of the L, so to speak. Let your head and neck relax. Let your gaze fall to the floor. And then keep reaching your hips back to create that length. We're lifting them up just a little and back. Keep your heels grounded. Keep breathing. And then when you're ready, bend your knees and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift and lengthen both sides of your elbows. Reach and lengthen from fingertips to hips and hips to heels. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lift and lengthen. And two more. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lift and lengthen. And once more. Bend your knees. Exhale, lift and lengthen. Bend your knees first, and then gently walk up towards your chair. 
and stay nice and tall. And let's take a breath into Dasana. Fingertips go toward the floor, shoulders drop away from your ears, crown of your head goes tall toward the sky, toward the sun. We drop our chin to lengthen the back of our neck. And if you feel comfortable, the same way we did before, let's do some standing modified cows and cats. So, you can either be behind your chair for stability. I'm gonna come out here so you can see me a little bit better. So, we sweep all the way up, whatever your shoulders will allow. Inhaling, exhale, bring your fingers softly behind you and interlace them. Inhale to a standing cow, squeeze your shoulder blades, Lift your Y to the sky, collarbones and sternum, a Y to the sky. Exhale to your cat, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. You can either bring your hands to the front, you can rest them on your thighs, or if you're behind your chair, you can rest them on your chair back, whatever's right for you. Sweep up, softly bring your fingers behind you. Inhale, standing cow, lengthen and open the front of the body. Be mindful of the back of the neck. Exhale, standing cat, tuck your tailbone and your chin. And again, sweep up and soften. And cow, open, open, open. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, cat. And let's do two more. Sweep and soften and cow and cat and one more follow your breath lead with your breath your body knows what to do and standing tall wonderful we're gonna come we'll stay on this side of the chair actually we'll have one hand on we're gonna do just a little more balance work. So here's how we're gonna challenge ourselves. You're gonna hang on to the chair. You're gonna start with these slow, gentle taps in front. And then you're gonna blink or close your eyes if you feel comfortable. So close your eyes or blink. And notice how that challenges your balance. Open your eyes, bring your foot to center and then to the side. Slow, gentle taps. And then if you feel comfortable, Blink or close your eyes. Open your eyes, bring your foot to the back, slow, gentle taps. And then close your eyes if you feel comfortable and safe. And then open your eyes, good. Notice which leg is tired, the standing leg. It's getting stronger. So do a little shimmy, maybe do a little wiggle and we'll come over to the other side. So, hand resting on the chair, left foot taps in front, and then it taps to the side, slowly. And then it taps to the back. Good, set it down, do a little wiggle, and now we'll try with our eyes closed or blinking. So we start with our eyes open and we tap. And then we close our eyes if we feel comfortable. We open our eyes, bring our foot to the side. We begin tapping with our eyes open and then we close our eyes. Open your eyes, tap to the back. Begin tapping with your eyes open, and then close your eyes. And open your eyes. Good, notice which leg is a little fatigued. So we'll give a little wiggle here, and a little shimmy here. Good, and we'll go over to the first side one more time. So we're gonna add on to something that we already did earlier. We're gonna stand here with our hand on our chair. Our foot is by our back chair leg. We're gonna shift our weight to the left leg close to the chair, 
and we're going to lift the opposite knee and then place it down by tapping. And again, lift and place it down. And once more. Now, if you feel safe and stable, do you think you can do one with your eyes closed hanging onto your chair? So challenging your balance. Good. So now we'll keep our eyes open and we'll add our airplane and our warrior three. So we'll first lift our knee. And now from here, we lead with our heel. We reach back to our airplane. We add our fingers as we bend forward, hinge forward. And now we'll come up and lift our knee again. We'll lead with our heel again. And now if you'd like, we bring our hand to center or we reach out for warrior three. One more breath or two, reaching and opening. We're gonna lift our knee before we end. So we'll come up, lift our knee one more time, and then place it down. Great job. Do a little wiggle. Good, and come over to the other side. So hand on our chair. We'll lift our, our, the leg that we're keeping straight is near our chair. We'll lift our left knee, and we'll tap it down gently without putting weight on it. And lift, and then tap it down. And once more. And now can you do one with your eyes closed? If you feel stable and safe only. We lift, and we put it down, and open your eyes. Good, so now we'll add on to the series we already did. We'll lift our knee, we'll lead with our heel as we hinge forward, reaching to our airplane. And you can keep your toe down on the floor if this is a little bit too challenging. And we'll lift our knee again. And then we'll reach back with our heel. And we'll bring our, we'll lift our knee one more time. We'll bring it back, we'll reach to warrior three if you'd like. And then we'll bring the knee up before we put our foot down. Good. And then do a little shimmy wiggle. Great. Good. All right. Let's stand into Dasana again behind our chair. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling energized and strong. Roll your shoulders back. Stand into Dasana. Close your eyes. And now we're ready to sit down. So have a seat. Hands resting on your thighs. Drop your chin. Breathing in and out through your nose. When you're ready, either keep your eyes closed or open them. Sweep up, say to yourself, I am. And as you exhale, confident. I am compassionate. I am strong. I am calm. I am beautiful inside and out. We close our practice with the word namaste, which means the spirit and light in me honors the spirit and light in you. I thank you for your time today, and I'll see you next time on the virtual Y. Namaste.